Hello and welcome to What Yacht To Do or uh, What Not To Do. I love this mug. <laughs> Shout out to Joe and Cindy. Who you know, they gave mug. that to me they and you, to you, and you I, took I, it I over. It. But anyways, it's got a whole bunch of knots on there and uh, a little cleat for the handle. Anyway, we are going from... Little Falls, New York. Yeah, where we spent a lovely two days. Really charming town. Two nights, and I really yeah. think it does say, hey, one of the best stops on the loop. And uh, I can imagine during the summertime, this is just uh, an yep. incredible stop. So spent two nights here. But we're going to take you over to Utica. And we're going to stop there at the uh, City Wall. And there is a restaurant there called Aquavino. Yes. Must stop on the mm -hmm. loop. We went there last time. <laughs> the restaurant collects the fee for the city, which is you know a mere dollar a foot. And that includes your electricity and power. So we'll go through two locks today. I know you're excited about that. Yeah, I yeah. am. And uh, anyways, lock 18 and lock 19. Anything else? Do you know about the locks? I do. Okay. And I'll share them with you as we go along. <laughs> Mystery. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it is cold. We actually uh, put the uh, air conditioners up on in the bridge and the Lido deck today. Air conditioners. Or, yeah, the air conditioner heater systems, you know. They are one and the same. So uh, the heat, we exercised the heat this morning because it was about 33 degrees. At least that's what the phone said. So yeah. And up here the uh, temperature said uh, 48 degrees inside. A little chilly. So we got it warmed up to a nice uh, 64 degrees or so. But anyway, looking forward to getting going here, and uh, we'll see you along the way. Safe Thank you. All right, bring the stern away from the dock a little bit. Kind of close, about a foot away. Maybe we'll see us next summer on a return trip. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Looking good, honey. I'm going to stay here and, um, <laughs> I'm going to bring these lines in. Oh, it's so beautiful out here. of a narrow channel, huh? Hear the train. So Sam called Lock 18. We just left Little Falls and there is a boat coming from the east eastbound and so the lock's full of water so we've got to wait uh, we just heard on the radio that boat's 10 minutes out so we are waiting the 10 minutes for them to get in and then we got to wait the time for the boat to go or the lock to let out the water to be on our level so we're going to tie up on this wall over here that's on the south side and I'm going to do my cowgirl lasso, whatever I can find over there. So we're just not having to spend about 30, 40 minutes out here just floating around. Sam okayed it with the Lockmaster, so that's our plan. It is a beautiful day. But you never know when things like this are going to happen. You know, if it all went smooth, we wouldn't have the strong character that we have today. <laughs> How's your depth over here, Sam? Okay. Yeah. If you could get me to that third one, this is the first Okay. Eight feet. 
Um, well, we don't want to need to get too close to that gate. So, uh, um, if this one, that one, yeah, that's what I was, uh, the third one over. Then we could time maybe that one somehow. Looking good, honey. Can you get me forward? All right. All right, let's go forward. Nice, okay. I'm gonna tie this one to this cleat here. Oh, it's really nasty. Woo. Okay, I got us tied up to that breast line. I'm not, I don't, I don't know how I can reach another line. That might be as good as it gets. Okay, so I had that us tied to that, but then Sam suggested we just loose tie it. So we ran the end of the rope through that ring and then it's loose tied down there. And this one hasn't changed. We're using their line that was hanging down and it's attached to our, our breast cleat. So um, all in all, it was a team effort. Um, so I'd like to thank the captain for coming through and having a better plan than I did as we sit here for who knows how long. So as we're still here minding our own business, we could see the top of the boat where in you know, our bridge sits pretty high so Sam could see the top of their Garmin in there. Now look what the lock looks like as they're letting out the water. I have never seen it from this side before as usually we're inside when all this is happening. And even when we have tied up, I remember in Canada, we had to tie up before a lock. It was just the lock wasn't open yet, you know, and then we had to wait half hour or so, but it's really coming out. And it's, so it's 20 feet of water that has to be released to bring it down so we can get in there. No, it's not cold. Sun helps. <laughs> uh, at times, I wish you could hear what Sam is saying to me in the headset. And other times, I'm really glad that you cannot. All right, Sam, I'm here at the mid cleat, right here. Smart mouth. People have died in locks. You've got to take this serious. They have. Somebody died last year. I don't see anything right now. Okay, I see a pipe here and a ladder a cable you're right it's a cable and then a ladder i'd really like to get that do you see the two indention tape there's two indentions what do you call them indentations in the wall the one that's low i bet that's a pipe in that one next and then you can get this Maybe you can grab this line that's hanging down. It does look far away. We'll try it though. This indentation. Yes. 
Um, do you want me to use the breast pleat? Huh? Okay. But if you can't get it, okay. All right. Here I am, right here. All right. I got the cable. Okay, keep going forward. I'm gonna thread it through. I'm gonna thread it through. Hang on. Okay, I got, you need to bring the, I got three fenders on the rub rail, sweetie. It's, there is a fender there. Oh Lord, help me. Take the stern all the way back. Keep going, keep going. You're gonna need a boat pole to grab that line, but you'll be able to reach it from where you are. Yep, shut it off. Run, 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 run. Got it? All right. That was easy. <laughs> It's attached at the top and at the bottom. Just, I don't like it that close to that painting station. Okay. So today we do 18 and 19. How high does 19 go up? About the same. Okay. No, it doesn't feel like we're moving at all. swab the deck up here. That line really got our boat dirty. Um, yes, it's bubbling in the front. Are you having a hard time? Okay. I put my foot on it so it wouldn't, so I could hold it more steady. Nice. Yep, a lot of action here in the front part. Oh, I love these cables. That's nice and easy. It does seem like it's speeded up. Going up. Uh, you can see the water line right here. So we're gonna go up to there. Still a long ways to go. Yeah, and my line is just going right up this cable. Little effort. Definitely, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's cute. You see this Erie Canal? They're probably too far down to see it yet. 
when you get to the top, there's an Erie Canal, Lock 18. When there's a cable, and I'm doing this, it's easier to have my shorter lock line than that longer one. We got another foot to go. <laughs> this ball fender is just crying. I'm in pain. He, he just went inside the little house. Now the gate's opening. Sounds like it needs a little WD-40. Tell me when I can release the line. Okay. I'm free and clear. Good. miles to the next lock. Did you know that? Thank you. <laughs> okay. Hey, you can go 10 miles an hour. <laughs> Looks like you could park here during the night. There's a uh, bollards there. And All right, mile 87 westbound on the Erie Canal and this is guard gate number five something they use to control the flow of debris and I guess the water and that stuff on the New York Canal system and up ahead on the right is a free dock that you can go to and we just got a little shallow water alarm there. I haven't set the nine so I'm kind of conscious of you know when it's getting a little bit low. But you will see off to the right a big old place where you can kind of tie up there and this is the town of Herkimer. Yeah I'm still getting a shallow alarm here. Six six yeah, and a half feet. feet. And uh, in the notes here, it does say this, this place is a little shallow, so you have to approach it with caution. There's a barge out there, commercial barge. That's it. And you can also go into, I do remember last time we went through, there was a cruise boat here. You can they take cruises on the canal. But you can go into the town of Herkimer, and uh, the Herkimer diamonds, which I think I mentioned earlier, is uh, really, really not diamonds, they're quartz crystals. So you can go into the town of Herkimer from here, and supposedly a pretty neat little place to stay. So one of the other places that you might consider stopping on your voyage in the Erie Canal. Up ahead, we'll show you uh, Elion as well. Ileana is a place we stopped at, so it's uh, about another uh, 15 minutes up. All right, about mile 89 westbound on the Erie Canal, you can see the Ileana Marina and RV Park. Really neat place to stay. They run a little sandwich shop out of that uh, building with the brown roof and uh, had a great time there last year. We would slowed it down to almost no wake here. We Got a couple boats out there and people. We'll give them a wave, see if we can get away from them. We waved earlier. All right. <laughs> anyway, they do have fuel there. Nice down east type boat. 
sitting there. I don't know what that is. Somebody will probably tell us what kind it is. But a place where you can stop and also tour the Remington Gun Factory, so Ileon. And also you uh, can walk to a little bit of shopping around here as well. Don't think they have a courtesy car, but friendly place. Yeah, that little cafe there, you can kind of get a sandwich in there and they make some pretty good steak sandwiches. All right, looks like a little obstacle course up here. A lot of stuff in the water. Fortunately, it seems like it's well marked. So we're just gonna keep it between the red and the green. Oh, I don't like this. And looking at the depth here, it's 11 feet here, but you can oh, see there's uh, stuff, obstacles. Look at that tree growing out of the... Yeah, that's not a tree growing out. It's probably just water. got caught up in there and there's some debris in there. So stay well clear of that. Uh, still got 12 feet of water. It says uh, we're approaching the town of Frankfurt, and this bridge is at mile 91 and a half or so. Okay, so we've been hanging out here. This lock wasn't ready for us either. There's no place to tie on this lock. This is lock 19. On the east side, I, yeah, the east side of the lock. and. The lock master said it's going to be about 25 minutes. He has to, to get the water out and get down to our level. And Sam asked him if there's a place to tie, and he said no. He also said he wants us to do it uh, to do the lock on our starboard side. You know I prefer the port, but you got to do what the lock master says. So I put, I've got three fenders up high. I've got two fenders down low. So, we'll see what this lock holds for us. I'm gonna grab my line. Um, somebody in there? Okay, the door on the right's the only one opening. Can we fit through that with one gate closed? Is he on the radio? Can you ask him? Okay. All right. Um, he's standing on the side up there, if that's the lockmaster. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the lockmaster just told Sam that that gate's not going to open. He told us to come on in, and um, we can do it, Sam. We could do it. There's some debris in the water, but nothing too serious. Has this ever happened to us before? I don't think it has. But we will call them back. You're doing great, doing great so far. Yeah, you need to move it over um, to the to the wall. Look at my arm. Okay. Let's see how you're doing over on this side. You got a good 10, 12 feet over here on this side. Okay. 
Which side? Which is what side? Okay, then I'll stay on the porch side. We'll inch in here. Well, it's open a little bit. Yeah, you got plenty of room on this side, Sam. He said they're rewiring this. Good, straight on through. Awesome, you're clearing it like with four feet. I would say, good. You, you good? You comfortable? Okay. Great. All right. So, yep, I got them down low. I got some up high. Oh, there's a pipe right here. You want me to the this breast line? Breast cleat. Uh-huh. Yeah, I want to do this pipe right here. And then, yeah, that rope you're going to grab. All right, get me over. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay, I got it. All right, I'm going to go up. Almost. You can get it with your boat pole. It's in the middle now of that, um, the Lido deck. Shutting it down. All right, I got it threaded through. Adjust these fenders. Can you reach it? You got it. Good. Well, it's never a dull day, is it? <laughs> Looking good. How, yeah, that should be faster, right? Just having to close one door. When we leave, there's some logs in the front of the lock. You got a good grip on that? No. It doesn't feel like we're moving. Yeah, we're moving. Oh yeah, there's a lot of action going on the front now. Twirling and swirling. You know, what's weird is that we went through all those locks and when we started the Erie Canal and they all asked for our registration number, got our boat name, and then it all stopped. Yeah. I'm on the pipe. Yep. Smooth. Nope. Uh-uh. What's your point, Sam? <laughs> That's what I got going. Yeah. Oh, you mean on the Erie? No, I did all ropes. It was brute strength every time. I didn't know how to do this until Canada. And uh, Tom Bale taught me. They were standing at the top and said, you look miserable. Like, oh, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> he showed me. I remember when we went through the locks the first time, you would watch other people do it and go, Rev, hey, they're doing something with the cleat. Do it like that. I'm like, I don't know what they're doing. This isn't really the time to ask. Uh oh. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Honey, only one gate's opening in the front, too. <laughs> Can I release this line?
All right, we're free and clear. I guess here we go. If you can watch the starboard side, I'll watch the port side. Get out of here in one piece. This one looks tighter for some reason. Yeah, but it's it's going over to the right hand side. You doing okay over here? Yeah. You're up, up against the fenders up against the wall. I thought you were watching this side. Yeah, that's the fenders. Okay. It's just crap in the water. Wood. I don't know. That looks like some kind of wood. It all looks like wood. Thank you, sir. All right, I'm gonna watch you on this side. You got plenty of room on this side, honey. Okay, good. It's like five feet. Okay, got a lot of wood over here, so you can aim over here. Beautiful. That was the tightest we've ever had to do a lock. Okay, you see these guys in front of you? Okay. You alright? Shallow water? Okay. Ooh, I'll be ready to get there. Oh, yeah. Dredging. The dredge said, the dredge said to stay close to him. Do you want me to watch on the port side? Okay. Oh, really? Okay, you need to go a little over to the, hang on. Okay, well this is gonna be close. You're looking good, actually. Oh, I see dirt under there. I guess it's doing its thing. Yeah, you are, you're good, Sam. Well, you're close, but you're not too close. an easy ride to uh, Utica now, okay? Alright, we're going up on the high wall. I'm open the gate here. Don't try this at home. This is why we wear our life jackets everywhere. Alright, so that way we're going up high. Hopefully I'll be able to step off and and tie us up. If not, I'll use the, um, I'll just have to lasso our line to a cleat and then get off and tie us up. 
the last time we came through here, the restaurant, the restaurant has a patio area outside and it was packed. And I was just hoping we wouldn't ram into the side and make a spectacle of ourselves, but we didn't. I mean, Sam did really, really good job getting us in here. And um, he's gonna do the same here in just a minute. Yes, yes, where it's going down. Yeah, so we're gonna take the, the second power pedestal. Yeah, okay, that's a good plan. Yeah, I see cleats now. Yeah, so that this patio area was completely packed with customers <laughs> the last time we were here. Trying to dock, I was a wreck. Just praying. Yeah, that's a pretty high wall, isn't it? I think we might need to get close to the ladder. Well, thanks for coming along with us. We made it. Oh, man. This was the longest day. It was only four and a half hours, but it seemed like forever. Yes. And uh, just shows, just goes to show you. I was going to say, <laughs> just shows to go you. Just goes to show you that, uh, you know, two locks. Uh, and we had that one lock uh, 19 where they yeah. had to turn it around. They're doing construction on it. Nothing was really posted about it uh, on the Erie Canal system there. So... And a couple of dredges, uh, so kind of a challenging day, but a beautiful day. We're here way early, so we are going what to go. What do you mean way early? Well, we're we're here. The restaurant doesn't open until four thirty, and um, I think we got true. reservations at six. So oh, anyway, cool. We're gonna go try to find a place just to stretch our legs and uh, maybe go see a few things and get back, get ready for dinner. All so right. uh, maybe you'll join us for docktails. All right, <laughs> see ya. Thank you.